Come on in. Good morning and welcome to TransWest Trek Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am here on a fantastic day. Uh, it's still pretty chilly, but it's nice and sunny. But what makes today so special is kind of the realization of, you know, a lot of work and time that we put into these video programs. This RV was birthed from a video that we did on a new air um, months and months ago. And uh, some clients of mine came out and saw me after watching a video, ordered this unit and it's here today. So my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And I'm here to tell you that you can have an RV. We're not sold out. There are plenty of opportunities for you and you can get exactly what you want. And this is a perfect example. So Jody, as usual, RVs inside out. We like to take it on back and start from the inside out. Uh, so today's model is a Newmar New Air floor plan 3543. Uh, one of the things that makes this unique is it has a fireplace, which is super nice. It's got a king size bed, which is also super nice. And this is the darling. Uh, so if the King Air is the crown jewel, these are all the little baguettes that go around that crown jewel. This is the favorite coach of so many Numar employees. Um, this is the only way you get to be about 36 feet. So it's a 35, 43, just over 35 feet uh, with a lot of power, a lot of towing capacity and all of the highest end finishes available through Numar. Uh, so one of the things you'll notice is that when you look at the back of this bedroom, look at how decadent and lovely this is. You've got a window above the headboard. You've got this satin tufted headboard. You've got this really fantastic, beautiful, beautiful um, decor uh, throughout the interior. Um, I love like the little details, uh, for instance, like the, the leather inlay inside of this uh, Dover uh, mink rift oak. Uh, so this is the matte finish as well. Uh, so this is a really exciting thing to be able to see. To see Dover in the matte finish um, is just such a nice, you know, nice, nice ability. Uh, and so for uh, Trina and Kevin who ordered this, you know, they came out and we really spec this out to exactly what they wanted. So it's fun for me to be able to show you um, what can happen if you're willing to spend a little bit of time uh, and if you're a little bit patient and how much of a fantastic build you can have that really suits you exactly to your T. Um, so this is all carpeted up here. Uh, you do have a little grommet pass through. Um, on the other side, there's two identical cabinets. There is a two 110 outlets over there. Uh, so you can have a, you know, a device up top. If you wanted to have your, your laptop plugged in or maybe an iPad, that would be a great place. Uh, you'll notice that we have MCD shades here. I've got the blackout shades down. Um, so you have power shades in the new air. Uh, this is a really, really luxurious coach. This is basically a little mini King Air. And uh, when they redesigned this model um, in 2022, it came out just fantastic. So many nice features. Like, look at these lovely doors. Um, and then things that you find in the King Air, for instance, when you open the door, you get these LED, LED lights that come on. So you've got, you know, this really nice um, feature where you don't actually have to worry about finding your LED switch above and turning it on. It just happens when you open the door. Um, and then they do also um, things like the safe that you'll see here as well. And then a really nice shoe closet back here. And then I love the fact that they have these really beautiful sconces. And then on either side of them, you'll see, much like that of the King Air, what they've done is they've put the outlet inside of the compartment and then they put a little slide above that. So that started with our King Air. So you can keep your water bottle inside of there, but you can also keep any kind of extra cords that might dangle stowed inside and then just have the um, power source coming out, which is really nice. Um, another feature that makes this unique in this marketplace, of course, is going to be that it has an all tile floor. There's no carpet in this model. Uh, so as you can see, just beautifully finished but take a look at how much of this nightstand you have, you, or not nightstand, I'm sorry, dresser you have. You have so much room here to put things down. So just to give you an idea of the, of the width of this, um, I wanna measure it today. I did bring my measuring tape. Actually, if you know my friend Brian Moritz, who also makes fantastic videos, I stole his measuring tape. So 85 inches across, really, really great space. Um, Uh-oh, how do we do it? Oh, there it goes, okay. Brian's measuring tape is smarter than I am. Uh, so 85 inches across 
and then uh, 15 inches deep here, and then uh, 10 inches here. So why is that important? Well, if you're in a coach like this where you're really making the best use of space and you wanna put your shoes on or your socks on in the morning, this is a really nice place to be able to sit down while you're getting dressed and you can keep your things here. You can have your coffee cup here, you know, you can have your socks here, you can put your shoes on, having a conversation. It's really um, part of what, you know, plays into being a home as opposed to just a, uh, you know, an RV. This is actually a coach that very much could be lived in full time. And what's so cool about it is that that 35 foot segment, there's a lot of places that have park restrictions that are 35 feet and smaller. Well, this is a 35, 43. And then you go into these really high end executive country clubs and nicer RV parks, you know, whether it be in Montana, California, Florida, um, you know, Michigan, anywhere, you know, where they only allow class A's that are 36 feet and longer. And this coach goes there as well. So this coach uh, walks the line better than any other coach in the marketplace in terms of dexterity of where you'd like to camp. It's fantastic for boondocking. Um, so this coach is an 8.9 liter uh, ISL. It has uh, 450 foot pounds of torque. It's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity. Um, so it's really, it's got 1,250 foot pounds of torque. So it's really got a lot of, um, a lot of uh, ca capacity to flat tow or bring, you know, if you wanted to bring some snowmobiles or if you wanted to bring, you know, maybe, uh, you know, an ATV or whatever you want to bring with you camping, you can get that, you know, your vehicle, whether it be a Jeep, a F-150, uh, any of those models, plenty of capacity to be able to get you down the road. Um, we've increased the, uh, the wheelbase to 226 inches, which gives you a more supple ride. We're built on the Star Foundation. Uh, this is the optional Freightliner chassis. We also have an optional Spartan chassis. So this is built on the Freightliner chassis. So lots of dexterity in terms of service departments. There's Freightliner uh, departments all over the country. Uh, so this is just a really great coach for somebody who really wants to get out and explore the United States and all of the fantastic things we have to offer. Um, now you'll notice that you have these really nice full extension dovetail drawers. Um, the reason I point that out right now is you'll find that a lot of manufacturers have gone to staples on the inside so you don't get this really nice smooth dovetailing. But if you are in uh, the market for a new home or you've done any cabinet shopping whatsoever, you know how important that is. And then the other thing that's really nice about these drawers, this is seven and a half inches deep. It's 25 inches long, and it is just uh, just about 11 inches, uh, uh, I guess, in depth as well. So is that deeper width? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's it's a lot of storage. And then here, another full extension drawer. But look at how much room you have in here. So again, 19, and I know we just did this, so we'll do it again for good measure. 24, and then seven and a half inches again. So a lot of storage capacity here um, for those of you that want to get out on the open road and keep everything in your RV. Another nice feature here as well is of course we've got this really fantastic Samsung television with, and all these are 4K smart TVs, um, but look at all the room you have on either side here. It's just really, really, really well done. Um, and I also, if you watch my videos, you know I love to do laundry in the bedroom where you can fold everything. So you've got this really nice Splendid stackable washer and dryer here as well. And just a really, really great use of space um, by Numar. And these executive finishes like these LED lights that you see underneath here, all of this tufting and leather, just really, really fantastic. And then I wanted to talk about some of the things that you can do. Um, so this silver leaf system that you'll see right here operates a number of things. So first of all, you can operate your ceiling lights, wall lights, all of your, you know, all your lights for the house here. You can also go in and operate all of your shades. So you can say all shades and bring up or down all of your shades. Uh-oh, I'm hung up. Let me grab that little guy over there. There we go. So all of your shades can go up and down. Let's see, there we go. Try that again. There we go. So everything is power, and um, you can do one at a time. But the, the one thing that's interesting about this is with this silver leaf system, you have the ability um, 
to actually use a phone app to control shades, um, to control, let me run through all of the different things that you have here. Theater seating, do, 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 do. Mobile app, okay, so here we go. AC, um, power shades, water pump, tank, auto tank fill, power door locks, um, and your climate control are all available to control by an app on your phone now, which is a really nice uh, feature. So now not, you're taking it off the wall and you can see all of these different systems that you have in place, like where you could turn your water pump on, uh, where you can control your awnings, your lighting. All these nice features now are available on an app on your phone. And that's a really new thing for Newmark, something that we haven't done before. You see it with a Firefly system and the Renegade product. Uh, so when you get into this level of coach, having that um, Android or Apple app control on your phone for Silverleaf is a really nice new feature. Um, another thing that I think is really fantastic about this RV is, so first of all, we know we have these solid wood drawers, but look at how beautiful this tufting is. So not only do you have privacy, you have this tufting and it's on both sides. They're really, really thick and dense, so you're gonna keep the sound out from the, from the galley. And then you have a really nice walkway here. So in this walkway, you'll find that you have, um, first of all, some separation from any company that you might have, but a full tile floor, full tile surround, so no plastic in here. Uh, you, of course, got the Aqua View shower system. The Aqua View shower system is gonna take the, the cold water coming out of your 105 gallon tank and recycle it back into that tank until it heats up. And so what's nice about that is you're not wasting your fresh water if you're boondocking. Um, it's going back into your 60 gallon uh, gray tank after you switch the switch over, switch is right here, um, I'm sorry, right here. So after you switch the si switch over from recycle, uh, what happens is that water then starts to go in the gray tank when you're taking a shower. So one of the nice con uh, water conservation features here. Also, you'll note that we have the teak bench, which is great so you can wash your feet, shave your legs. But look at this beautiful uh, linear drain that you have down, down here at the bottom. And then also you have a nice shelf to keep some soap or a razor if you're shaving your legs. But check this out, how nice is this? Your body wash, conditioner, and shampoo is all here on the wall. And then your shower head is adjustable. So you can bring this up and down uh, so you can have it on you wherever you like. And you also have a rain head. So just a really, really um, very high end luxury feeling in this bathroom. Um, also, you have a SantaCon system. So you have a macerator system in this unit that's not available throughout the Numar product line. Of course, these are porcelain potties. Uh, if you're not familiar with my videos, I have a hard time with egress doors. So I checked this one in advance this morning, but there's your egress door. And then again, really nice shade control as well. A fantastic fan above us. And then take a look at this really amazing medicine cabinet. So if you're looking for a vanity that's giving you enough light to be able to do your makeup during the day, this is just wonderful. This backlight that you have in the cabinet itself is fantastic. There are two 110 outlets in this medicine cabinet. And then look at all of the storage. So again, this new air is so important because it fills a segment for people that are looking for something in a powerful diesel, diesel pusher that's more compact. This is a segment that is completely unanswered by most manufacturers because it's really hard to do. It takes a lot of high-end components to make it possible. But if you look at this beautiful undermount sink, uh, this beautiful glass tile backsplash, um, your touchless flush for your Dometic, more cabinet space underneath. I mean, it is just so well done here. And of course we have the robe hook, as you would expect uh, by Numar as well. And then once again, all of your shades in this bathroom are gonna be power. So let's see if I can do that real quick. I practiced this before I got in here. Um, and then of course they always go sideways during our videos because hey, for those who don't know this, this is a live video on Facebook. So if you've got any questions during the video, you're welcome to chime in. And then this door, once again, fantastic and solid, has a full length mirror on the back of it. So right here on the back of this mirror, I can actually, Jody, do you wanna to try to get in there and see that? I can actually get ready in the morning and it's plenty of room for me to see exactly how I look before I head out for the day. 
And for those of you who aren't familiar with Jody, our cameraman, he does a really magnificent job at catching my like on the fly directions. So thank you for that, my friend. Uh, look at this refrigerator. Um, all of these Samsung products are residential. Um, all of these are going to run off of your 3000 uh, watt inverter. Um, and this coach came uh, solar prepped. We are going to add uh, 525 watts of solar here. Uh, there is a 400 watt flat solar panel system for those of you who want to have a party on the roof of your RV. I don't recommend that. Um, I would order an RV from scratch if I was ordering one, for one from scratch uh, with the ability to add solar so that we can get more watts for less money. Um, so that is, if you're interested in that conversation, I'm always happy to, to have that with you after the fact. Look at how deep this freezer is. This is such a nice freezer. This is bigger than most freezers at home for people. Um, uh oh, what am I missing? Well, I don't know what I did there. Oh, you got it. Okay, you're right. Okay, so, uh, another fantastic luxury. Uh, for those of you on the road that want to have big pots and pans, this is a great place to store them. You can keep your silverware in here as well. You don't have to put your silverware in a drawer. Uh, this is a great place to keep a lot of different things. It does have um, the wine glass rack as well. So for those of you who are going to order or enjoy a nice bottle of Merlot, uh, you know, Riverside while having a, you know, a steak, you could sear that steak in here and some butter. You could prepare all of your herbs. Um, you could saute um, anything that you've used your cutting boards to prep on your true induction cooktop. Um, and then if you decide that you don't want your RV to smell like onions and bacon, you would also be able to take this outside and use it on your picnic table. So this lends in once again to efficiency of space. So true induction um, not only gives you a huge benefit in terms of fire safety, you can put a paper towel down on this and then use your copper core all clad pans, which I think are fantastic, uh, to boil a pot of water and they wouldn't catch on fire. So huge safety feature there. But because you can use this inside and outside, you don't have to have a camp set of pans uh, that's good you know, for cooking on a Coleman, for instance. You can actually just have one set of pots and pans because you can use this inside or outside when you're camping, which is really nice. Especially if you're fishing, you know, you've got some trout, maybe you don't want to cook fish in your RV. Um, now above us, you'll notice this 30 cubic, 30 cubic foot. Wow, that would be big. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, your three cubic foot uh, Samsung induction and, and convection microwave. So this is again, microwave a burrito, heat it to 350, make me a, a, a plate of cookies. I would love you forever. I love cookies. Um, really, really nice um, appliances here. I'm in the process of building a house right now and I'll tell you one thing. Having uh, a really nice appliance set is not an inexpensive luxury. This is something, you've got the top of the line appliances, you've got the highest cubic capacities you can get, and you're in this tiny little, you know, 35, 36 foot RV. Um, so here you'll see plenty of room um, for all of your uh, special paint. You'll notice that this says New Air Special. Uh, so this is, once again, the culmination of everything that we wanted to do. We went through and chose like the twilight blue metallic, you know, the silver, everything that we wanted is very specific on this coach and been installed. Uh, we do have the, the accessory with the extra drawered awnings outside. And we also have the, uh, the shades, uh, the carefree awning package. So those power shades, um, on the newest, on, on the, uh, superstar that I have, I was not able to get the power carefree awning package. It is really a nice luxury. Uh, so drawers, once again, just over five inches and about 14 and a half. I'm afraid to say width or depth these times. I'm just going to go with 14 and a half by 21. And then you guys can figure out what, lab what, what label you want to give you. Here's a duplicate to that drawer. And then these little shorter drawers are about two and a half inches, same depth of course, and then same width as well. So there's that, and then you've got a fourth up here, again, the same thing. But keep in mind, like look at this, again, dovetail construction, full extension, uh, removable, really, really nice. I love this matte finish. We weren't sure how it was gonna turn out, uh, but take a look. So lots of extra storage there for cleaning supplies underneath. And then above that, I love, of course, my scrubby sponge apartment. 
Um, so it's interesting. Uh, my boyfriend's had the full reign of our superstar since we got it. And he's put about 6,000 miles on it already. Uh, we, by the way, very, very positive reviews with that new Mars so far. But uh, I found matches in the scrubby drawer. And I'm like, dude, you have so completely batched this RV out. Like, really? Like, matches? Like, what are you, what are you, are you, like, lighting your plates on fire when you get done so you don't have to do dishes? Anyway, I don't know. Um, check out this sink. So really amazing high-end uh, appliances. We had to actually figure out where to where to get manuals on these on, on Noogle online, which of course Noogle is kind of like the Google for Numar. Uh, these are beautiful German faucets. I mean, this is just, it, it's so over the top how luxurious this coach is. Um, and I love these high polished uh, countertops. There's so much sparkle in here and then it's so nice that they've given us kind of this modeled um, finish so that you have a lot of forgiveness for dirt. And then of course, still full extension pullouts so you can get to your stuff really easily. And then really deep cabinets up here on top. Again, this is all about efficiency of space. And what's nice about this is you've already seen so much room in this coach, but take a look at all of this pantry space. So you push in and then pull out. Do you see this? And even these are dovetail finished. I mean, this is just such a fantastic offering. Um, now, keep in mind, all six of these drawers are adjustable, so you can change the height, but this is, once again, one of those things where you find the mini King Air. You know, you open the cabinet and the lights turn on. It's just that extra level of luxury uh, that you don't find in other coaches, all the way up to like the trim along the top of these cabinets. And again, this is an oak cabinet, um, and this is the matte finish, and it's just beautiful. And as I touch it, I'm not making fingerprints or smudge marks anywhere, so I really, really like that. Now, you'll see here uh, in the middle of this coach, we have a lot of different options. So, for instance, I've been running the generator just to keep everything on, right? Um, I don't have my solar panels installed. This coach, by the way, came in yesterday. Uh, but so I can see like my camera system with my over, overview, uh, overhead camera. So I've got top view and there's my backup camera. So that's behind me right now. Um, I can also take a look at like my climate control. I can control all of my climate control. I can control my, my floor heat. Um, it's been really cold today. It's very nice in terms of uh, the temperature in the coach right now. As you can see, um, I think we've got it up to 90 but it's, it's nice and warm in here. And the reason that is, is even though it's 32 degrees outside on Friday, March 11th at 10.50 in the morning, like I said, super cool system here, right next to your silver leaf system to control everything, which also could be on your phone. Um, I have the fireplace going. So let's segue then, Jody, into what is the best part of this coach. Take a look at this fireplace. It's so cute. I love it. I, love, I don't know if it's the best part of the coach. There's a lot of best parts of this coach, but isn't that adorable? It's so pretty. And what I love about it is little storage here, central vac here, right? But look at this, even though you have a fireplace here, you still have a great amount of room for all of your great cocktail cups. So if you wanna have you know, wine glasses and, 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 and I don't know, like everything can fit up here in this beautiful, just lovely dry bar. I love that. Um, I also love like your little trash can has this nice little slide, but look at this. So just attention to detail, nothing's going to slide forward and fly off because there's a, there's a ledge here. Check this out. This is so nice. This is new. Um, so we have this great storage area underneath here. I'm going to measure this because that was a question that I had. I was like, oh wow, how deep is that? Because um, it's really deep. So almost 30 inches. So 29 inches, 29 and a half inches deep. Well, I don't know if that's deep or wide or what. 14 inches this way. Hey, someone is going to comment on how unintelligent I am for not knowing how to say these things, but that's okay. I do my best. Three inches tall. And then look at the space, like you could keep so many cool things in here. Magazines, newspapers, 10 and a half inches. Uh, and then by 18, wow, so much use of space, by four and a half. So love that this year. Um, now I did bring up, um, you saw the other chair in the back. 
these do close totally flat. They're really, really nicely made. Um, but I wanted to bring that up because a lot of people are like, oh wow, how much space do you have? So I brought up one of the two uh, extensions that we have here. Now you can see we keep them wrapped so that they won't be yucky when, you know, they don't want them to get scratched or anything when they're in transportation. But you can put these both out here. And if you put those both in place, let's see how much room we have in our booth. Because I think that that's a great question. How much room do we have? So the bench itself is about 34 and a half inches. But if you took the bench to the end of the table, you're about 56 inches uh, in terms of overall length of the, of the whole booth. So you could have a really, really nice meal here at about uh, 60 inches, so about five feet overall. Uh oh, I got that stuck in the hole. Don't wreck Trina's coach. You'll be in so much trouble. Speaking of Trina, she got the queen seat. I cannot wait to show you that. Uh, so she got the queen seat because she has a puppy who likes to sit with her when they travel. Now, Jody, you just keep looking right there. I know everyone can see our fantastic, look at that. So one of the things that differentiates the King Air uh, and the New Air against all the other products are these windows. Look at those beautiful, huge, huge kitchen windows. And um, all of these square cut windows allow us, so like this alcove here has windows all the way around. So it's so, so luxurious. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to systems and we're going to go TV lift down because as we all know, I'm sitting here in my really, really beautiful um, recliners, right? And I'm just relaxing. In fact, maybe I'm just going to take a nap. I could totally just take a nap. These are so fantastic. Um, and, and I've got little lights. So I can change, uh, I can, I can like set my little lights to be different colors on each side. Um, so I've got my little lights, I've got my really nice recliner, I've got my huge amount of storage down here with my two USB ports and my 110 outlets, all carpet lined, I mean just so well finished. But maybe I don't want to watch television, maybe I just want to enjoy the view. Maybe my friends are having a party outside and I'm watching the shenanigans. This is just such a great luxurious space. And so this theater seating occupies this 84 inch wide um, alcove and you could have a bed here as well. Um, and then the, the Euro booth is standard, but it is so decadent in here. You've got so much room and then you have all of this storage overhead. So if you do like to play board games or, you know, for me, I love, um, I put like little boxes in here and I label them all alphabetically. So if I've got my kitchen supplies for outside and inside or, you know, uh, flashlights, batteries, all those things. I just put them all in alphabetical order with my little label maker. Uh, just tons and tons of room here. And then a 110 outlet on this side, as well as a 110 outlet on this side. And then I wanna go to my, uh, let's see, shades. And I'm sorry I'm going on and on about this, but I mean, if you don't know uh, that this is my favorite coach, I'm gonna put these all, all up first, and then I'm going to go all the way down. So let's wait, there we go. Okay, there we go, let's drop all of them. So privacy at a touch of the finger, super instant privacy. I absolutely, absolutely love that. Another thing I really adore about this coach, look at how this lovely backlighting is flanked in your, uh, in your synthetic uh, leather, uh, as well as that beautiful rift uh, oak, and then that mirrored, uh, mirrored vent above it. This this coach is really just second to none. It's so incredibly beautiful. Um, and then more storage, of course, up top. And of course, we've got our Bose sound system. We've got these little sound bars outside and inside. So you've got plenty of places to listen to little Jimi Hendrix while you're getting those steaks all queued up for the evening. Um, just great, great room here. What a luxurious interior. So. I'm gonna put the chair on the back bed and then I'm gonna bring the slides in and we're gonna take a look at the space in this coach with it all brought in. Uh, so for those of you that wonder whether or not Numar will ever allow you to have an app control uh, that lets you put your slides in and out like Firefly does on the Renegade, the answer is no. Um, I've, been, I've been asking 
Um, if you ask for things with Newmar, they actually listen to you. Uh, they're great with feedback. They actually come out and visit our dealership every year and ask us where we could see improvements, what things we'd like to see in the future. So if you have feedback for me, please take some time, you know, at the beginning or end of this, of this video, get my email address, get my cell phone number. Let me know what that feedback is and I'd be happy to get it back to Newmar for you. But so this is one of the things I really, really love about this coach is, you know, so I've got my bedroom slide all the way in and I'm gonna bring this other slide in, but this full wall slide gives me so much walking room down this hallway. And I'm gonna go ahead and bring this other slide in so we can see what our space is like. Jody, if you wanna watch how I do this. I wanna know too, here we go. So here is the hydraulic slide that makes this all possible. And it's funny because these guys, when they set it up today, we didn't put it all the way down. It wasn't sitting all the way down. Um, but so it actually could have raised up so I could have shown you. Um, but all of that being said, look how cool that is. That's what allows us to have uh, full uh, tile floors. And again, these are heated floors. That is another option. And it's time to probably turn that generator off. Okay, so this is the walking space. And the reason I mention this is because, oh, let me put this back in all the way. Give ourselves as much of an advantage. So you can get back and forth to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna be able to get to my clipboard. But for those of you that are looking for a ton of room in a coach and lots of like really nice length in terms of your Euro booth and your seating, please do realize that the sacrifice that you make is that your walking distance is gonna be you know, a little bit impacted in terms of what you can do. What's nice about it is when I'm back here, I still have full access to my bathroom, I still have full access to my kitchen, and I still have full access to my pantry, my microwave, and my refrigerator. So all of this area is usable. If you are um, traveling with a large dog, uh, he's either going to be in the front or he's going to be in the back or he's going to go up on the furniture. So, um, I don't know, get a cat. I don't know. Don't have a pet. How, how about chickens? Well, I had a client tell me the other day that they had chickens. Um, of course, they were, they were messing with me. Can you imagine? Oh, gross. Uh, chickens in your RV. Uh, so, anyway, so take a look at this. So, first of all, um, I'm going to put my stuff down up here on this dash. So here you can see, I know we talked about it briefly, this overhead camera, but I do want to just bring this up and we'll start her up. Oh, you want my key? Do you want my key? Okay. So look at this dash. This is so beautiful. Um, I love, love, love this full glass dash. So. Let's go through this menu. One of the things that's the most important thing for me, um, so first of all, we have some really nice features. Um, I'm gonna go up to vehicle configuration and talk about what the thing that I make, think makes the difference um, between Numar and other manufacturers the most, and that is your comfort drive where you can change your steering effort. So if you can imagine, you know, you got a gale force wind and you're fighting this RV while you're driving it down across I-80 and all you're trying to do is get home and you're just so tired and you're just holding the steering wheel because it's just blowing so hard. You don't worry about that. You just turn up your comfort drive uh, to a higher setting and this steering wheel takes control for you and fights that wind so you don't have that driver fatigue. It's so important for those of you doing long road trips. So comfort drive steering, star foundation, longer wheelbase, more horsepower, more torque, better towing capacity, great. What else do we have? We also have Road Watch. So Road Watch, um, I actually put this, um, I put this uh, shade down at a specific level today because I wanted to show you. So your cruise control, you can set to follow anywhere between three, 3.3 .3 and 3.6 seconds in front of you. So if you're driving through a, a heavily uh, populated city area, this little mobile eye up front, you can set to give you a shorter stopping distance so you don't have as many people coming in front of you. Now you don't have to use this cruise control while you're driving through a city area, but to be honest with you, you can, it's really easy. The other thing I really love are the intelligent high beams. I think that that's super, super nice. Then we also have lane departure warning. 
Uh, we have a speed limit indicator and alert. So if you're going too fast, which is a really big possibility in a little coach like this with this much power, it's gonna tell you that. So love that aspect of this. Um, I love the tire pressure monitoring system. I love the fact that I can actually set this tire pressure system up to not only see my current tires on the coach, but I can also put sensors in my tow vehicle and have them check those as well. Uh, fuel economy, gauges, trip computer, all those other things are great. Nice glass dash. Uh, these coaches come to us from uh, Napanee, Indiana with about 1,200 miles on them. This one came in with 1,156 miles. So Trina, Kevin, if you didn't know, it's true. Um, but so just a really, really fantastic execution of control right here. Um, you've got a steer, you've got a, a cell phone charger. I know I'm putting my, my head in your thing, but I just want to show you. So you've got this cell phone charger, which is so nice because it will charge your phone while you're driving and you can still see it as you've got messages coming up. Um, you also have uh, adjustable pedals. So I, I mean, they're down there. They could go forward and back. Um, but what's really cool is these recliners turn around, A, um, but this is, the, this is the queen seat. So this is an extra wide seat. It's heated, of course, um, but it's, it's really, really nice because if you do have a little puppy that wants to sit next to you, you have a lot of room. We have a little extra room here for your puppy. And then another charger over here. And then the uh, infamous, oh shit, honey, we just lost the Jeep camera. We love that. You can also boss your husband around and tell him he's not paying attention because you have all the camera controls. You've got navigation. Um, climate control is over here at fingertips. Also, you've got 110 outlets. You've got a window that opens, which is a really nice feature uh, to have uh, in this RV because not all of our uh, high-end RVs have opening windows at the passenger side. Um, you've got this great step cover. You've got this huge windshield huge huge viewing port right um, you've got really nice drawers to keep everything in as well so you've got a his and hers for all your wallets again um, heated seats on both sides I don't know this is just a great great coach I'm gonna go ahead and turn that part of it off um, let's talk about so we did we did all of these things we talked about the fantastic fans a water pump auto fill upscale features absolutely upscale features oh for the record this is the dover uh mink rift uh oak finish i love that we chose not to have a tv and we like to have um shelves in here now i think that the tv in the front's great and all but if you want to watch something you can always do it on an ipad pro or something like that don't really need to put a television up there it's great to have storage and then people ask all the time why do we do this um, because it just gives a kind of, uh, it gives a symmetry to the entire coach. So instead of having shorter cabinets and taller cabinets, it just kind of camouflages everything into, into one nice um, harmonious look. I did want to show this too. I know it's not important, but if you do have a pooch and you've got your door closed and you want to be able to hand things in and out like from groceries, it's so nice to be able to actually raise and lower this. And then when you get it into place, it just snaps so it won't pop up automatically um, so I love that because I mean if you have pets you know how it is I don't know I have three French Bulldogs and if they cut out we'd never see them again they would just be gone oh so things I didn't talk about um, stock control for your transmission and I'm sorry about that the other thing I didn't talk about is that you have your engine brake here on the stock control as well so that's also very nice and then um, the thing that is powering uh, our hydraulic slides, so these slides go um, out and then they lower hydraulically. Uh, and then when they are being stowed, they come up hydraulically and then they come back in. That's what allows us not to have carpet in this coach. Um, HWH powers that slide for us. We've worked with them for decades now. They also power our hydraulic leveling system. And what's really nice about the hydraulic leveling system by Numar is HWH has it set so that it automatically dumps your rear tag. So in other words, or your rear axle. So in other words, your airbags in the back will drop so that when you level, you're not having to extend your levelers as much um, if you're pitched forward. So that's just an automatic setting. Set, uh, setting. Uh, something I also just learned, you know, just this, having a Numar has really kind of changed my capacity and what I understand about the product. Uh, but there's also an indicator that shows you 
uh, by little lights, like at what level you're pitched, so you know where your where your jacks are going to come up the most, which I thought was really kind of interesting. Um, okay, so don't go out yet, Jody. I'm going to go down here, but I'm going to show you something before you get to leave. Jody's like, God, Katie, this video has already been so long, though. Um, okay, we talked about how these swivel. Uh, there is a USB port down here. Can you see that? And then a great little pocket. There's never enough storage in anything. I love little pockets like this. It's so nice. But then check this out. So if you do have fine furry friends and you want to put their dog food in here, or maybe you don't, maybe you just want to put like bottles of water, or maybe you want to put uh, bottles of champagne. That is a really good idea. Um, or you could put like doggy dishes and little leashes, or you could put like bug spray and, and suntan lotion. Um, all those things are like totally possible. Um, so Jody, come on out, come down this beautiful step. Let me close this door. Oh, darn it. You know what? I'm going to run back inside. I want to open up these awnings. You just stand out there and film me, Joni. I'm going to go ahead and open awnings while you're filming. Oh, center control. Let's go here. Out. Out. Jody, give me a thumbs up. Am I coming out? It must be working because he's filming something. So we love that. Um, and it's so nice that we can do this. The weather has been so yucky for the last few days. It has been so snowy. Um, but I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you. Uh, now, first of all, there are LED lights the whole way underneath. But if you're in a campsite where you're challenged and you only have enough room to put out one awning, you have an option. You're not relegated to having a single awning. You've got both. Um, and then on top of it, we've got, our, uh, we've got our Gerard awnings here that cover this entire bank of windows in the kitchen and the dining room, as well as over here on the bedroom. And then we have our overhead awning this way. Um, a nice feature, we have our doorbell control. So you've got a doorbell as well as a number lock here. And this is illuminated, so you can find that front door of your coach if you're coming back late at night and it's dark. Maybe you forgot your cell phone. Uh, you can see where the door of the coach is. Um, so love, love, love that feature. Um, this is going to be a dual fill. So here's one filling station. Uh, and then we did add all the slides that we could to this coach. We did not opt for the Dometic. You could have a Dometic here if you wanted to on a tray. Um, oops. Uh, these doors, by the way, Numar made some uh, improvements. We complained a lot about the seals being too beefy. Um, we still want them to seal, but we wanted them to be easier to close. So these doors are so much easier to close. But when we opted to outfit this coach, we took all the slides we could get, but we took them in manual fashion. And the reason we did this is because they come out so much faster um, and it doesn't change the weight rating on any of them. You know, you still have your thousand pound capacity. It just makes it a lot easier uh, to put them in and out quickly. And then, as you can see here, oops, sorry about that. I'm sure that was really loud on my microphone. Um, really nice, more than, so you've got a 60% extension. Um, so really nice extension uh, all the way in and out. Here, of course, are our attachments for our vacuum cleaner. Um, here's some extra porcelain tile. Um, you also have uh, air chalk in here so you can air up your tires. Um, and then this is a manual opener and closer for your slides. If ever you find yourself in harm's way, you're able to go ahead and just manually open and close that. Um, but we talked a little bit earlier about how, why, how and why this was so exciting. So one of the reasons this coach is so exciting to me, oh, let me just pause here. So that Bose sound bar, Samsung TV, and then you have your dash radio television, or you could also have this set up by Wi-Fi. So you, so you could actually just listen to your phone. Um, and a few extra outlets there. But no, one of the reasons this is so exciting is because uh, Kevin and Trina really wanted this color. They wanted this coach. They wanted the color on the interior. They wanted these graphics. She wanted this beautiful creamy white with this lovely uh, sapphire blue and silver, you know, throughout the coach. 
And so this is their coach. This is like exactly what they wanted. Um, I have three new airs still available in 2022. One is already uh, baked hard, so you can't change it, but I've got two others that are available for modification. Uh, so if you want one of these for yourself and in this model year and in this in this year itself, give me a call. I have I have inventory. Um, so as you can see here, LED lighting once again, everything is so well labeled, so well controlled here. Uh, you can see all your Gerard awnings for the kitchen, for the living room. Everything is just, just really immaculately done. Of course, you saw this big slide uh, come in. This slide is the full length of the party side. Um, and then this is a great place to keep, if you wanted to keep your, um, your uh, Outlander fire pit, this is a great place to keep a propane fire pit. We have a lot of fire bands in Colorado. Uh, those are not uh, subject to the fire band, so you can still have a bonfire without having to use wood, which is so nice because you can turn it off after you've had enough margaritas and go straight to bed as opposed to having to wait and pour water on stuff. Uh, so here's your chassis battery setup. Um, so you do have eight six volt uh, house batteries. Um, and then, oh, I, there's a bunch of stuff I haven't talked about yet that I wanted to call, talk about. So heated tile floors we got, underbed storage. Oh, I didn't show you that. There's uh, underbed storage. It's small. It's not big. If you want me to send you a picture, let me know. Uh, dishwasher, 19 cubic foot refrigerator, microwave, uh, power shades, da, 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 da. Okay, so no more 33s. We have three 35 foot floor plans. Uh, I know we talked about 1,200 foot, foot pounds of torque. We talked about the transmission. Um, no, we didn't. The Allison transmission is a 3000 mh. So it, what happens is you just get, oh, this is um, this chamber down here. This is why this vehicle is a low emissions vehicle because this is where uh, your, um, this is where your ad blue goes in. This is where your, uh, de your def fluid goes in. And, and this is where uh, that particulate actually is burnt off in the RV. So that's what that chamber is all about, if you didn't know. Um, one of the most fantastic things that ever happened in the RV industry, honestly. Um, but so, okay, so uh, the Allison transmission just gives you better towing capacity. Look at how beautiful this is from the back. So here's one of your cameras for your surround view. And then as you can see, um, we're all pre-wired here. We're ready to tow. Um, we've got our airline because we went with a Freightliner is, is already lined uh, is already lined up for us. What's nice about uh, the Freightliner system is that um, you have this air tank that's uh, set and it comes standard with the coach. So it's called brake sync. And if you lost power to your airline for your brakes, your air brakes in your coach, they would stop automatically. But you'd still have a tow vehicle behind you, right? That's got some weight to it. That's coming down fast. What that second airline does is it stays charged so that you still have control over the vehicle that you're also flat towing. So really, really nice feature. And that's a standard feature in all of the Freightliner chassis. Um, now, another nice feature as well. So we've got great engine access because we have our radiator here on the side. And then here's our DEF tank. And then you can see these really nice uh, security lights. These are just wonderful. If you're camping at night and you want to be able to get in and get under the water bay for some reason, um, it's great to have a little extra illumination there for you. Um, of course, this is going to be our other bedroom slide, our egress door. And then you have your whole house water filter as well as your power uh, city water hose and your SantaCon system. The SantaCon system is optional on this tank, so please note that. Um, and then, of course, we have a really nice shower out here as well as digital, uh, a digital control panel for your, uh, for your tanks. And this is hot and cold water, so that's really fantastic. And of course, LED lights the whole way around. I know we mentioned uh, your inverter being 3000 watts. We may not have talked about another improvement for Numar in 2022 is we went to a dual loop Chinook system. So your hydronic heat is a tube of antifreeze going around underneath the coach. Um, and then air blows on top of that tube of hot uh, antifreeze and uh, it's called hydronic fluid. And when that tube gets hot and the air is blowing over it, that's what's heating your coach if you don't have heated floors. So you don't have a furnace with propane. Um, and you know that that tube of antifreeze runs off of your diesel tanks or it runs off of what's AC1 or AC2. So on a nice, you know, moderately temperate, temperate day, you can be plugged into 50 amp with your 50 amp power cord and you can be running on AC1 at a low voltage or AC2 um, and heating your coach with your thermostat. But if it's really cold, you can turn your uh, hydronic heating system on 
uh, without being plugged in and you can run off of your diesel tanks and we've been using that a lot uh, it's been really cold it actually snowed when we were down in Flagstaff um, and it, it was just amazing to see um, how nice and cozy how cozy the coach stayed now of course my superstar is a Ventana level it's not as nice as this new air is so I don't have heated floors but we were still able to stay very, very comfortable uh, with that hydronic system, which is so nice. Oh, I know I mentioned that there was the plugs on the other side, this inner back system, this is where your plug attachments are. So if you do have a child or a dog or a paddleboard that needs to get vacuumed off, just do it over here. And then of course you can wash them off after you get done vacuuming them in the next bay over. Um, a nice empty bay here, great place for some lawn chairs, if you ask me. Again, there's your Xantrax. Uh, 3,000 watt inverter, really great inverter size. Uh, just to the left of that, if you want to keep some gloves here and like maybe an emergency black water hose, you don't really need one, but you could keep it there. I mean, that's what that, that compartment's designed for. Uh, when you have the optional SantaCon system, you don't really need it. Um, of course, this is a, tr a tray, so these pop out and you just bring your batteries all the way out, so easy access. Um, so you've got 800 amp hours of storage here. I know that there's a lot of competition that does you know, a lot of lithium ion battery packs. We do have a lithium ion battery pack available in her big sister. So if you want a King Air, let me know, cause I've got a dual bank lithium ion battery pack. But as far as Numar is concerned, by being able to use our star, our star foundation, um, we are able to really weight this coach appropriately to carry these eight AGM batteries and 800 amp hours of battery power is about the same as what you get out of three lithium ion batteries uh, at a much, much lower maintenance cost. And they're also maybe a little less temperamental, if you will. Uh, and we all know that if we're camping, the only one temperamental on the trip should be me. Uh, just kidding, I'm a really easy camper, um, especially when you have a nice coach like this. Here's your other fueling system for your diesel. And this is just a nice way to see everything is so well organized, so well done by Numar uh, in this coach. And I'm trying to see if I missed anything else. We talked about Mobileye. I didn't talk about the keyless ignition. Hopefully you saw that. There's a power driver's window. We did talk about the Excite camera system. Oh, we left a Rand McAnally behind. We've now got a nav and go for our nav system. Uh, the wine guard system is gonna be important. Um, I actually install a cradle point on a lot of our RVs when I order them. Uh, but if you don't have the wine guard system on this RV, you won't be able to use that app. So that's important to know. Um, we have the uh, DISH SKM, uh, uh, the, the pop-up satellite on this as well. Um, we've got a 15 gallon def tank, 10,000 pound towing capacity, eight, eight house batteries, 3,000 watt inverter. We talked about all that. Oh, 90 gallon fuel capacity. That's important to talk about. We talked about the Girard package. Um, oh, one thing I didn't talk about, I wanted to mention GVWR is 38,600 pounds, but GCWR is 4,250 pounds. This coach can hold a lot of stuff. And then um, in the front here underneath, oops. You'll notice that we have um, this beautiful, you know, striking grill with our mobile eye, our camera up top for our 360. Uh, your generator is an eight kilowatt. It's really nice. It's located up here in front. It's not underneath your bed. It's in the front of the coach. We had it on for a majority of the video. It's a very quiet diesel generator. So of course you didn't hear much from it. Um, and then we talked about our adaptive headlights. Uh, we talked about comfort drive. I'm sure I missed something like the chrome heated convex mirrors, the side cameras. I don't know, I always miss something, but I try to cover as much as I can in a short period of time. If you're a fan and you need some help with an RV or you just have questions, please reach out to me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. My name is Katie O'Neill and I absolutely love making these dreams come true. Let me know how I can get you on the road and get you camping. Thank you.